All right, welcome to the Tuesday. I'm Ultra David. And I'm James Chen. How's everybody going? You can totally tell that it was about to start because when the mics go hot, everyone can hear the air conditioner in the background right now. The air conditioner's in the background. It's just very warm. Yes. We didn't really want to die. But let us know if that's, <laughs> uh, you know, if it's annoying. I know in the past people have told us just to put the, a on, the AC on, saying that it's not that annoying for them. Let us know if that's real. Yeah, we'll try it this week. The microphone is actually legit closer to us yeah. than before. We've actually moved the microphone closer to us, and so it's not as further back. Also, I mean, if you've noticed last week and this week that we sound better, let me know as well, because like I said, the microphone has been moved, and I still have not yet put all the soundproofing on the ceiling and stuff like that. But little by little, we'll get everything working into a awesome so. studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gradual process. Emphasis on gradual. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, it's coming along, I think. Hopefully, anyway. Mm -hmm. So today we'll recap a couple of events that happened this past weekend over in Japan. We will also talk about plenty of game news. Yes. Plenty of stuff mm -hmm. to talk about. And then we'll try to hit some things that we meant to get to last week. <laughs> oh. That we didn't get to. Yeah. For so, technical reasons. Yeah. But shout outs to a lot of the people who stuck around last week because they were helping me troubleshoot a lot of things and a lot of people were talking to me about stuff. So that was that was really cool. Nice. I think I have the problem figured out. Knock on wood. We will see how it goes. Indeed. Yes. All right. So what's going on? What's going on? Well, okay. You want to talk about Arc Revo? Yes. So Arc Revo happened this weekend and that was probably the big thing that happened. And of course, if you guys don't remember... Uh, we had there was a spot open on both of the, the the main team games, which are Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear. Well, maybe describe what the overall thing is first. Oh, okay, yeah, it's an event that was specifically from Arxis, that's yeah. Arc Revo, right. and so it's all you know the Arxis games, Persona Four, uh, Blaze Blue, and Guilty Gear. Uh, Exer and Blaze Blue were the main events, and they were team tournaments with 3v3, and of course, since it's a Japanese tournament, single elimination, one game, team tournament format. However, uh, one spot on both of those team tournaments were reserved for the U.S. players, Right. and uh, the qualifiers for those matches happened at EVO, and so... T um, uh, basically, we got our qualifying teams to go out there this weekend. They, had, they were going to compete. U.S. has generally not done very well at the Guilty Gear tournaments and events and such like that. Uh -huh. But we were hoping to see if fortunes could change this weekend. So. Just in general and across all games, when Americans qualify for Japanese team tournaments, high-profile high Japanese team, team tournaments, usually we don't do that <laughs> Yeah. Just I, a couple of exceptions, really. I, I actually wonder if the format difference is a big deal. You know, the fact that a lot of the times when we when U.S. players go to Japan and play, it is single elimination, one game. You don't have time to adapt right. and all these things you like that. You just bring that. whatever your craziest guns are out <laughs> in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm sure it's very different. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, very few American teams have done well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, maybe there's a little bit better showing than... Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we got here? What 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 are the results? All right. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess it's a team tournament, and there's quite a few teams. So let's yeah. just maybe talk about the top four. Yeah. So, since, since, top as four. you said, it's single elimination. Yeah, yeah. Do you want since it's all Japanese names? You want me to do this again? If you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Always seems to work out that way. Okay. Okay. But uh, tied for third place here, we have for Guilty Gear Exerd sign. Yeah. Uh, we have DES Note Team DES Note. Uh, I'm assuming that stands for all their nickname, their names here, which is Day, who used Elfelt, Ekichan, who used Milia, and Saba Miso, who used Bedman. Also tied for third place was Ein Panman, which was Sharon Elfelt, Hasegawa Ino, and Zari Sin. Uh, Ogarinko, which was second place, this was a shock, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, Koichi's Ino. Karinchu's Milia and Ogawa's Zato won. Ogawa, right. the Evo champion. Right. And in first place was Team Unusual, which is with Dogura, uh, who used Sin, Machibo, who used Kai, and Kazunoko, who used Soul as well. So, Zevra yeah. and Kazunoko, he's listed yes, as. Yes, that's right. That's yeah, right. He, he did compete. Well, we'll talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, the surprise was everyone thought Ogawa's right. team was going to win, of course. And apparently, Machibu 
defeated him. I did not get to see that match, but apparently it was a big deal, very hype, and yeah. even Dogura and Kazunoko had like a little dance. That I saw that dance. <laughs> The little intro dance. Yeah. Right? And then Machimo just like walked by. Right. <laughs> it's pretty great. No, I did see that. I, it's cool. I mean, just a little side thing. It's cool to see the Japanese players getting a little bit more into the wacky personality kind of thing. You know, maybe Kazunoko came back from CEO and was like, dude, we got to do some crazy stuff. So, But yeah, the big surprise obviously was that uh, Ogawa's team did not win. So um, congratulations to Dogura Machibo and Zeveron Kazunoko yeah. for taking first place at Arc Rebo. For sure. So, yeah, very cool stuff. Now, do you want to talk about the U.S. team yeah, we should. now or just go through the Blaze Blue results and then we'll talk about both teams? Yeah, whichever you prefer, man. All right, let's do the Blaze Blue teams next. Okay. And then we'll talk about both teams. Because, I mean, it's really kind of, there's context to both of them, you know, talking yeah. about them together and such like that. So... Okay, so in Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasma Extend, third place was Team uh, Triaina, which is Yoshiki using uh, new number 13, Goro using Makoto, and Koya using Noel. Mm -hmm. Third place was also <laughs> Animal Therapy. Okay. <laughs> That's the sickest name. Uh, with Kuike with Laichi, Suya with Valkenhayn, and Kinji with Taukaka. Second place was Guzen Nimo Arc Ruivo ni Sanka Suro Koto ni Nata Oretachi wa with Yuta <laughs> with Yuta using Ragna, Conan Conan using Tsubaki, and Ryusei using Jin. And uh, first place went to Nokare Ball with Zexo using Azriel, uh, Mitsurugi using Hazma, and Koji using Ragna. Alright. So there you go, yeah. Uh, interesting that uh, I don't, personally, I, I mean obviously I'm not as familiar with the Blaze Blue scene as I am with Guilty Gear scene and such. Yeah. I don't recognize a lot of the names there, so um, um, yeah, like I'm surprised, like, like I mean at EVO for example, Dogra got second place, Galileo yeah. got first and such, and I didn't see them in any of the top four, so I see Galileo's team was tied for ninth. Which is, of course, eight teams tied for ninth. Right. Uh, where's Bogura? I don't see him listed here at all. So, hmm, maybe he's just focusing on guilty here now anyway. So. All right. But yes, there you go. So that's the results for Arc Revo. Yeah. So the U.S. teams. Well, there's also other stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. Persona 4 Ultimax Ultra Suplex Hole version 2.02. .02. Yeah. Tied for third place was Sandome no Shojiki with Soji using Kuma, uh, Kirisame using uh, Shadow Chie, and Sohei using Shadow Ken. Uh, Nandemo Shimasu also tied for third with Tsujikawa using Shadow Chie, uh, Habu using Yu, Yu Narukami, and Nekoze using Toru Adachi. Second place was Shiki and Tsubasa Supa! Right, with the. Um, <laughs> Has an exclamation point. <laughs> Mad using Shadow Kuma, Shiki with Yu Narukami, and Cho using Shadow Ken. Uh, and then the first place team was Shinobi no Okite 1068 Joe, which is Dai Chan using Shadow Ken. Wow, this seems like a very popular mm -hmm. character here. Yep. Uh, Denpa using Shadow Naoto, and Moki using Shadow Yosuke. Interesting, a lot of shadow characters. Yeah, I don't know that much about it, but yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's a lot, definitely a lot more shadow characters than uh, a lot of the other characters. So. Alright, alright, let's get to... Undernight, Undernight in Birth. birth uh, third place was Rion with Seth. Third place also was Necroton with Akatsuki. Second place was Kai with Seth. And first was Goichi, or Go13151, with the new character, Phonon. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get to watch this, but um, just looking at the character results, I thought it was very interesting. Now, go back up to the top okay. eight there, right? Okay. Or whatever, top, I guess. We'll okay, them. okay. Phonon, Seth, Akatsuki, Seth, Phonon, Akatsuki, Byakuya, and then Merkava. That's like, mm, a, it's true. such a different top eight <laughs> than it would have been in the previous version of the game. Interesting. So yeah, I just you're thought right, it was cool to right. see, like, you know, the, two Akatsuki's up there. Yeah. Who, was, who was originally, of course, a bottom-tier character, right. right? So there you go. And not a single 
Gordo. No Gord. Not a yeah. single Waldstein, and Merkava was tied for fifth, so interesting. Very interesting, okay. I thought. Yeah, I'd love to see that, but... Oh, yeah. I wonder if, I mean, the version that they played, I wonder if it's, you know, going to be, is that the official version now, you know, or are they going to yeah, still do some out. extra ba balance stuff or anything? Like I thought that. it was out, but I could be wrong. About okay, that. okay. It probably is. It probably is. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so awesome stuff there. Lots of cool events going on. Arc Revo. Uh, they had some cool announcements, which we'll get into later on. Okay. But uh, let's talk about the USA teams. Okay. So. <laughs> The USA teams, the Blaze Blue team went there, and um, they lost first round, so they were eliminated right away. Yeah. Um, the Guilty Gear team went there, and uh, they actually made it to the third round, so right. they have now broken the record, because <laughs> apparently the record was originally held by the team that Dacid Bro was on, and he right. won the first game with Ragna, I believe it was, right? No, not Ragna. He won it with a um, Bang. Didn't he play Bang? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was Bang. And uh, they got to second round, and then they lost. So this Guilty Gear team has now made it the farthest that any of the Arc Revo teams, the U.S. Arc Revo teams, has. The reason why I kind of want to talk about them at the same time is, you know, a lot of people are comparing and contrasting them, and I've heard a lot of people were mad at the Blaze Blue team, saying that they were like, "Why did we send them?" I saw that like too. They were like, they did terrible. What a what a way to fail your country, you know, and stuff yeah. like that. And look, I don't care how far either team what got. Like, I'm super proud of them. I'm of super course. proud of them. I tweeted this out. Um, it is not easy. Traveling across an ocean. I gotta think it's real tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they didn't even get a chance to sleep a lot to fix their jet lag, and then you're sitting there playing in a single elimination tournament with the entire country yeah. on your shoulders. Th there's no warm up round, you know? If yeah. you lose a round, then that's you're one round away from losing. Yeah. There's, there's mm -hmm. such a small margin of error. Yeah, so, I mean,. I, I feel bad that a lot of people are, you know, maybe giving a lot of problems to the Blaze Blue team. Especially, you know, it's like it's like a lot of people are fighting back with, though. It's like, if you really are disappointed in how they did, the next time you beat them, then you go right. instead, right? And then, of course, some people are like, well, I didn't have a passport. And then, of course, it makes it even easier for you to complain because now you're like, oh, I didn't enter because I didn't have a passport, yeah. so I didn't have a reason to enter the tournament and lose right, and yeah. then complain about the people who beat me, you <laughs> right, know? Yeah. So it's easier to hide behind that kind of excuse. So. But yeah, but dude, I'm super happy for them. Yeah. Uh, the Guilty Gear, it was really interesting because we were all literally getting updates via tweet. Yeah, I saw that. Because they didn't stream any of the US matches. But I do think Lord Knight got a chance to record some of the later ones. Like the first round one, they weren't allowed to record, but I think second round they were like, okay, you can go ahead and record them. So hopefully we'll have some stuff. And yeah. The funniest was, who was it? There was one player who was literally giving updates by, because he couldn't see the screen. He was going off of like Lord Knight's reactions. Oh, yeah, I think that was James. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah, saw yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, plus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, um, yeah, uh, um, I'm super happy for them. They said that the first team that they played wasn't very good, apparently, so they actually OCV'd that team. Sick. And then the second team, super close, but they clutched it out, so that's super awesome to hear. And then they lost to Ogawa's team, who got second place. So, you know, okay. overall, I think super awesome shabby. performance. Yeah, great stuff to them. Super happy, super proud of all six of the guys for going there and playing, so... Like I said, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's I'm easy. definitely glad that America gets a chance. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. Someone did ask me though. It was like, um, it's like, do you think Arc Revo could become like uh, Arc System Works's version of the Capcom Cup? You know. Uh huh. And the hardest part for me is that it is single elimination. Yeah, with the format, based. it can't be. Yeah, and uh, I mean, even before, like when SBO was at the height. You talk to a lot of the Japanese players, and they were like, I like Evo better. That's true. You know, because yeah. of the double elimination format and such like that, so... I mean, I just think of it as more of a, an SBO than an Evo. It's just such a different right. style. It's a mm -hmm. different format. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I, yeah. I think it would be cool if they could do a more, like, Arxis 2 out of 3, 3 out of 5, double sure, elimination-focused awesome. event kind of thing. I think that would be super cool. 
I definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was thinking of other teams that America has sent over, I was thinking mostly of SBO. I mean, obviously, our three was going on for a little while, but mm -hmm. even back in SBO days, Team USA, even when we had a couple of Team USAs, was uh, <laughs> pretty rarely effective yeah. across whatever game they were playing at the time. Yeah, if I think, you... Oh, go ahead. I think the best that the U.S. ever did was in um, Anniversary Edition, mm -hmm. Street Fighter Two Anniversary Edition, uh, which was the janky combination of all of the Street <laughs> Fighter Twos, and you could pick whatever version you wanted, right. whatever character you wanted. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, Graham Wolf and Alex Wolf. Right. And they got really far. I think they got fourth place or something fourth. like that. Yeah. Yeah. So they actually got right. super far. So that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. But other but, than that. <laughs> but it's, like you said, it's this janky version and such. Yeah. They were using CE Guile and all sorts of crazy. Yeah, stuff. exactly. There's a lot of craziness there. So. For sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go to the Topanga ranking battle. So this is the, the final results, I guess. Um, do you have this up anywhere? I or? don't. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this. I here. just assumed it would be you because it's in Japan. <laughs> Fair enough. Actually, truth be told, I was totally just going to narrate all of the results from Arc Revo, but then you said, why don't I do it? Oh, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, so the final standings... How does this work? Is this combined between all the different areas, or does each one have their own final stand? Oh, it looks like they all have their own final standing. So we have a final sense. standing listed here for Tokyo. We have a final standing listed for Fukuoka. Yeah. But I don't see anything for Osaka mm -hmm. just yeah, yet. I don't see it there okay, so the final standings for Tokyo uh, are tied for. Oh, that's a weird one. They have. Four tenth places and then like a ninth and an eighth and two sixths. And that is super strange. Looking. Oh, it's based on the number of points they have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's around. Okay. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so tied for tenth place was Kibetsu, uh, White Fang, Hugo, Wan Chantaro, and Tuna with 11 points. In ninth place was Kyoku with 12 points. Uh, eighth place was Twiggy with 13, with 13 points. Tied for sixth was Zevron Kazunoko and Razor Fudo. Wow, sixth place they're tied for. Yeah. Because in fifth place was KG, uh, KGN. The DJ player. That's <laughs> so crazy, dude. I want him to come out to you as and blow people up. Be cool. So, um, fourth place was Mad Cat's Tokido. Third place, oh, I'm sorry, tied for second place was Akimo and Nishiken. And first place was Kawaguchi. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, nice He's a stuff. really good player. Uh, who does Kawaguchi use again? He's a Rose. He's a Rose player. Okay, okay, okay. And then in Fukuoka, uh, tied for sixth place were five people. Okay. And that's, uh, oh, jeez, Kinoito. Yeah, Kinoito. Sketch, what? what oh, Itajin. <laughs> oh, Itajin. Mochiru, and uh, Yaji Robe. And like I said, they all had 11 points. Cha got um, fifth place with 12 points. Darui with 17 points and Mizutero with 17 points, both tied for third. Okay. Second place was Gakichun with 24 points Gachikun. and Gachikun, yeah, and first place, Pepidai. Sweet. Who goes by FGC Pepidai. Shout outs to Pepidai. Yeah, so there you go. All right, and then, like I said, we don't know what Osaka is. And in case you don't know how it works, I, I believe that they now all compete for a chance to get into the, to the B League and then the B League fights the A-League, and then some people in the A-League drop, and some people in the B-League move up if the A-League ones lose, and et cetera, it's et cetera. Complicated. And then the, all the A-League guys play against each other. Yeah. So, yeah. It's like relegation in soccer in uh, Europe. Mm -hmm. Well, just mm -hmm. not in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. So. If anybody knows. Is, does that what FGC actually stands for, for Pepidai? What is it? Someone says it's Fukuoka Gamers Club. Oh, yeah? I didn't know that either. I mean, it makes sense. It makes was in sense. Fukuoka. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but there you go, Topanga. Um, there was a lot of other events this past weekend. I know there was like the VF tournament at Next Level. Uh, at Next Level, uh, I couldn't find any results yeah. for it and stuff like that. So uh, I don't have some of those as well. But hopefully, you guys uh, checked out some of the other stuff. There was that CVS two tournament. In Japan. I watched some of that. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, cool. I didn't get to watch that much of it, but I did watch some. Uh -huh. How did it look? I saw somebody who was playing Boss's team lose, but they didn't have any of the names up there. <laughs> so I, it probably wasn't him. But okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs>
Okay. Anyway, it was fun. I just didn't get to see that much of it. Okay. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the main events that we had the results for from this past weekend. There was this S. Benny Maru who was causing problems. Whoa! Yeah. S. Benny Maru. Yeah, it was pretty sick. <laughs> That's really interesting. I used to use a Benny Maru. Because, you know, once you're down to the small, to the low life percentages... Oh, he just did spark all day. He yeah. did super, but he also has that grab super, and it was just mm, okay. silly okay. S mix-ups. He used dodge really well, actually. Because <laughs> the thing about it is, I always, when I think of S group characters, I think of dodge. I always try to think of the ones that have the really far range attacks. Like Cammy standing roundhouse, and Bison yeah. standing forward and stuff. I don't remember what Benny Maru, because there's always the close range cancelable one and there's the far range knockdown far version. I don't remember what Benny Maru's... He was just letting the dodge roll and then pressing a button afterwards, oh, so okay. <laughs> that's okay. about it. That's what okay. I saw. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, some people are saying that Benny Maru was blowing people up. He was, so. yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, you want to talk about upcoming events? Sure. Uh, there's strangely enough, I didn't see a lot of different events coming up. Okay. In fact, the main one that's coming up is actually a pretty big one though, but it has the best name, most descriptive name. You know how we had like the, the, the Van Damage tournament, you know, with like Deadly Impact or whatever <laughs> yeah. like that. So, I always forget to silence that phone. Yeah. So we have this tournament coming up. It is called the Taiwan Fighting Game Major. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. The Taiwan Fighting Game Major. That's what it is. That's what it's called. Um, it's called, uh, it's, I mean, it's, it is a Capcom Premier Tournament qualifier, uh, Asia qualifier. Yep. So whoever wins this one auto gets an automatic seed into CPT Asia. If you remember, that was the round robin event last year that Daigo qualified from. So um, that'll be taking place in Taiwan, in Taipei this weekend and will actually be streamed on Capcom Fighters. Oh sweet, okay. Yeah, so this is Ultra Street Fighter 4 only, I think. Uh, I don't see any news about any other games, yeah, so I believe this is just a Street Fighter 4 tournament. But um, people that are guaranteed to be there, that are committed, I, well I should say announced to be there, because yeah. uh, you never know what's going to sure. happen, right? Uh, Gamer B is supposed to be there, Shiro is supposed to be there, Dark Jawa, mm -hmm. Misei, Inko, Koji KOG, Gonzalez, Xian, Human Bomb, Chuan, or Chuan if you want to call him, uh, I guess a guy named KOG, or is that supposed to be KOG KOG and they listed him twice? I'm not sure. Itabashi Zangief, uh, some scrub named Kim1234, no I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kim1234 and of course uh, Razor's RB yeah. is gonna be there. So uh, if you actually go to uh, CapcomProTour.com and find information on it, they actually give you the live stream schedule, you know, translated to your time zone and stuff like that. So very cool as well. So. All right. All right. Yep. Yeah, definitely no trademark lawyer came up with that name. <laughs> it's not very protectable. <laughs> fighting game major. <laughs> it's like the least possible protection. <laughs> Interesting. It's... The Oh, okay, so their website apparently is TWFM2015.com. There's just like everything that's like not right about that. Cause, yeah. Because like, I guess it's Taiwan right. fighting game right. major. Right. But you put the year in the URL, which is just uh, a bad idea. Like so. Evo 2K. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, okay, well, in any case... Definitely check that out this weekend. That will be streamed on at twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters as well as twitch.tv slash TW Fighter. Singular, TW Fighter. Okay. Okay. And then uh, I know a few weeks ago we talked about there was that special event where Sako and Daigo were going to be playing Guilty Gear. I think they were teaming up with Kazunoko and then they were going up against like the Ogawa team yeah. and all this other stuff. So that's this weekend. Uh, that is the Toshin Geki Totsu event that is taking place this weekend. So you can check that out. That will be streamed on Nico on Nico Nico. Um, the news on FGC calendar, the, the information there actually says that YouTube and Ustream links are pending. Oh nice. So maybe they'll do some streaming on those services as well, so we'll get a chance to watch that. That would be awesome. A lot of people saying that Daigo is going to get blown up 
by Ogawa because they're like slated to meet each other. Definitely try to tune in this weekend and find out if that's yeah, that sounds cool. actually going to happen or not. Yeah. So, and see how Daigo does. So there you go. Cool. So that's all the upcoming events. All right. Um, well, do you want to take a break take and then a we, break? we can talk about game news when we sure. come back? Okay, cool. We'll be right back, guys.